turned to coal and green. The unborn grass lies waiting for its crew to turn and green. Snowbird sings a song he always sings and speaks to me of flowers that will bloom again in spring. When I was young, my heart was young and true. Anything that it would tell me, that's the thing that I would do. But now I feel such emptiness within. For the thing that I want most in life's the thing that I came to. So spread your tiny wings and fly away And take the snow back with you where it came from that day The one I love forever is untrue And if I could you know I would fly away with you Yeah, if I could you know I would fly Hi there pluckers, I've saw fingers again with a, another classic song from 1969 I think it was a big hit for Anne Murray and the song's called Snowbird of course and it has been covered by various artists such as Elvis Presley I believe um, and various others but she is the one that's had the big hit with it I believe so uh, this is the, her version okay standard tuning capoed at the second fret puts us into the same key that Anne Murray recorded the song in okay so um it's a very really easy song okay to play so uh, you shouldn't have too much problem with this um the intro is a bit tricky there's multiple instruments and orchestration going on so i've simplified it a bit but try to keep some of the the uh, sort of poignant points on it okay so what i did for it was this okay So, starting off with a partial G chord, okay, um, third fret from the capo, top E string, first finger, fourth fret from the capo on the third string. Double pluck, I'm picking the uh, third string with my pick and my first string with my finger, okay. So, and then you go up to the fifth fret from the capo on the third string and the uh, top E string again. I'm using my second finger and third finger this time. Same thing, third string pluck with the pick, top E string with the finger. And then you go up to the seventh fret, move this shape up two frets. Both fingers on the seventh fret, third string and top E string. Same thing again, double pluck. Pick with the third string, finger with the top E string. Yeah, so, got that? Second phrase is this. So I'm now on the second fret of the top E string with my first finger and my second finger is playing the third fret of the second. Now I'm still doing double pluck, so I'm doing the pick with the second string and the top E string with my finger. So I'm, I'm double, double, double plucking it, but you could, as they're close right next to door to each other, these strings, you could use the pick to just play both strings if you want to, or you can pluck it like I do, separate fingers. Okay, so that's the first on the phase part two of this intro. That's the first phrase, yeah. Then we go up to move the first finger up to the third fret, top E string from the capo, and the fifth fret from the capo with the third finger on the second string. Again, you can use the pick for both strings, or you can pick it the second with your pick and the top E string with your finger. And then the next final bit on this phase two is move the whole thing up two frets. So the first finger is now on the fifth fret from the capo, top E string, and the third finger is on the uh, seventh fret from the capo on the second string. Okay. Again, you can use the pick for both strings if you want, or you can use to uh, pick for the second and the finger for the first. So now you've got this. Okay, third phrase is first finger on the first fret of the second string along with the open top E string. Again, you can use the pick for both, or you can individually pick the strings with the pick and the finger. 
Then we go to that one again, which you've played already. Second fret on the top E string, first finger. Third fret on the second string with your second finger. And then we go to this one again. Move that up to the third. First finger goes to the third fret, top E string from the pick, from the capo, and third finger is playing the fifth fret on the second string. Okay, so those are the three phrases. So. And then after that I'm just doing a very short strum on a D chord. You can just do a single strum on a D chord if you want. You can just do a single strum on a D chord or you can go whichever. Okay, so do it both ways like or you can do Whichever you want. When you're ready, you just do the little run up to a G chord. Open fourth string, second on the fourth string, fourth fret of the fourth string from the capo. Okay, and then you're into a G chord, however, that, that way or that way, whichever G you want to play. Okay, and you're into the then you're into the verse. Okay, beneath the snowy mantles, right. Okay, so you're into the song straight away there. So you've got that, just once more. Go through it very slowly. Okay, or you can do it when you come out of that. Uh, you can just go hit the full string. Just hit, hit the full string open and a couple of strums on the D chord. And then the riff. Okay, whichever you want to do, or you just do a single strum on the D, let it ring, and then do. Okay, whichever. So that's that sorted, that's the intro, that's my version of an intro for this song. Okay, the song itself, very, very simple G, a B minor, second fret bar chord, minor shape, or you can do a simple B minor, like that, no bar, four down to one, or a full bar chord. A minor and a D and it's the same chords for the verse and the chorus okay so when you come out of that intro it's Neath the snowy B minor mantle chord and A minor three D the Ample grass waiting for his coat to turn back to G. And then just repeats the snow, it goes snowbird sings the B minor song he always A minor sings. D and speaks to me of flowers that will bloom again. D, G. Okay, got that? So we just go through the whole intro and the first verse and then it just everything's the same after that okay it just it's, no more verses and the choruses played exactly the same chord sequence okay so here we go the unborn grass lies waiting for its coat to turn Snowbird sings a song we always sing and speaks to me of flowers that will begin in spring. Second verse. When I was young, my heart was full and true. Anything that it could tell me, that's the thing that I would do. But now I feel such emotions within for the thing that I want most. See, it's exactly the same, just different words, okay? Now then, the other thing I'd like you to try and put in, if you can, because it's on the record, <laughs> is after each half a verse, so you come in, you go into the first verse, you come out this, the introduction, little lead up. Beneath the snowy mantle cold and green, 
The unborn grass lies waiting for its coot to turn Bum, bum, bum. It does that lead up every half a, half a verse. And it's the same in the chorus as well. So when you come out of that, uh, so just go through it again very slowly. Beneath the snowy mountains cold and green, the unburned glass is waiting for its coat to turn green. Bum, bum, bum. So bird sings a song he always sings and speaks to me of flowers that will bloom again in spring. With when I was young, my heart was young and true. And anything that's healthy, that's the thing that I would do with. But now I feel a sentiment with me. For the thing that I want most of all is the thing I came with. Riff. Take the snow back with you Where can come on that day With One I love forever Is untrue And if I could You know I would I would be with you And to the next verse You get the idea So you're doing that riff A lot <laughs> Okay That lead up So that's it That's the entire song Apart from the very end so after you've done that chorus, there's one more verse, and then it does another chorus, and that's the final chorus. So we do the final. We'll do the. I tell you what. We we'll do the. We we'll do the. Uh, the third verse, and then we'll do the very last chorus. Okay. So um, comes out of the chorus. Fly, uh, fly away. The breeze along the river seems to say. They've only break my heart again Should I decide to stay So little Sorry Little Take me to To that land of gentle breezes Where the peaceful waters flow With chorus Take your tiny wings and fly away And take the snow back with you Da, 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 the river is untrue And if I could, you know I would I would do Oh, if I could, I know I would Right, so I saw this. the only thing that's different is the very last bit of the chorus. So coming out of that chorus, the second half of the chorus, where it goes, um, For the one I love is forever is untrue. And if I could, you know, I would fly away with you. Yeah, back to D. If I could, you know, I would see fly. Back to G or U. Okay, got that. So coming out of that last half of this last chorus. Um, the one I love forever is untrue. And if I could, you know I would fly away with you. Yeah, if I could, I know I would. Okay, boys and girls, there you have it. A nice, easy one for you for a change. <laughs> See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.